In this video, I want to share with you seven amazing selection tricks that will make it stupidly easy for you to make pixel perfect selections in Affinity Photo. My name is Renz and I've been teaching Affinity Photo for over five years. And the first trick that I'm gonna share with you is quite an obvious one, but I see so many people not do it. And that is by using and utilizing keyboard shortcuts. So let me show you what I mean. I've got my image right here. And let's say I want to make a selection of the guy and the bench. So I could either go to my tools and select the selection brush tool right here. But what is way quicker is just press W on the keyboard. So I'm going to press W on the keyboard. Now, let's say I want to make my brush size a little bigger. I'm going to use the right bracket key for this. If I want to make it smaller, I can use the left bracket key for this. And I'm just going to brush over the guy to quickly make a selection of the bench, let's say. Now, this is going to be a very, very sloppy selection, as you can see but I will fix this with another keyboard shortcut. So you can see that I selected way too much right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decrease the brush size a whole lot and I'm gonna subtract, I mean, from my selection. Now I could either go to my context toolbar and click this button right here to subtract from my selection. But what is way quicker is by holding Alt or Option and just brush over the area that you want to deselect and boom, it is gonna be deselected. And I can do the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna hold Alt or Option, brush over this part, and there we go. So that is how to use keyboard shortcuts. And these are the most common ones. The second tip that I got for you is using the bright brush size. Because if you're using a very, very small brush, let's say like this, I'm going to brush over the cap right here. You can see that Affinity Photo takes quite a bit to actually snap to the edge and to actually understand what I'm selecting. Now, if I'm going to deselect a little bit right here to give you a better example, so I'm going to make my brush size a whole lot bigger and I'm going to deselect a whole bunch. If I would have a very, very small brush and I want to make a selection of this bench, you can see that it takes way longer to select. And that is because the smaller your brush is, the more accurate your selection is going to be. So if I want to select this bench, I would probably go with a brush that's around this big and just brush over the bench once. And you can see that Affinity Photo will do a fairly good job at understanding what it is that I want to select. Now, the third trick that I got for you is a very, very useful one, which I always use, and that is using quick mask mode now you can enter quick mask mode by clicking this button in the toolbar but of course we're going to use keyboard shortcuts so i'm going to press q on the keyboard and now you can see this weird red overlay a red overlay is everything that is not selected and the normal original color is everything that we've got selected so you can actually see very easily that i missed the leg of the guy right here so i would make my brush a little smaller and simply brush over his leg to select it i selected a little bit too much right here so I want to deselect or I want to subtract from my selection. So I'm going to hold Alt or Option and click right there, click right there and so on. I made a little mistake right here. We're going to just hold Alt and click and brush over the things that we want to deselect. And now you can see that we have a very, very clear overview of what we are selecting and what we are deselecting. So make sure to use Quick Mask Mode when selecting. Now a little Quick Mask Mode trick is that you can click this little arrow icon and you can change the uh, mask overlay, let's say. So you can do show mask as black, you can do show mask as white, and you can also do show mask as transparent. But to be fair, I 99% of the time use the original uh, mask as overlay because you can still see through the background of the image, which makes it easier to understand what we are actually selecting. All right, and so trick number four is to actually mix and match different selecting techniques. So I'm just gonna leave quick mask mode and it looks like we've got a fairly good selection. But if I zoom in, you can see that I kind of missed the seat of the bench. Now, the problem is with this seat is that it's very similar to the background color. So if I would use my selection brush tool and try to brush over it, you can see that Affinity Photo quite quickly and quite easily makes a mess of my selection, which is something that I don't really like. So I'm going to press Command Z or Command Z. And what you want to do is mix and match your selection tools. So 
I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut to actually select my polygonal lasso tool. So I'm gonna press L on the keyboard and you can see that my, my type of my freehand selection tool, let's say, is already set to polygonal and that is because it remembers the last type that you've used. And I use the polygonal lasso tool because it makes it stupidly easy to make straight edges. I want to add to my selection. So I'm gonna click here in the corner and I'm just gonna trace the bench. And you can see that Affinity Photo makes super straight edges. And this makes it very, very easy to, for me to make a nice straight line. Now, a mini trick, you have to always go back to the starting point in order to confirm your selection. But what you can do, instead of uh, trying to click and pinpoint this blue ball, what you can do is once you're close, you can just double click and you can see that it will snap to the beginning point. So also right here, you can see that Affinity Photo kind of missed the top, let's say, of my bench. So what I'm going to do is click right here, click right here, just go all the way to the left and maybe even further because we probably also missed a little bit right here and this makes it very very whoops if i went too far i can press command z or command z and now i'm just gonna close and now i'm gonna zoom out a little bit and scroll all the way back to the left side and go pretty close to my blue point double click and you can see that we've got a crystal clear selection now important to know is that when you're inside of quick mask mode the lasso tool or any other selection tool doesn't really work so it i it only works with the selection brush and normal brushes so not with the marquee tool and not with the um, freehand or the lasso tool all right so tip number five is to actually only take what you need and so what i mean with this is let's say if i zoom in a little bit you can see that we've got the foot of the bench right here as well but i'm not really gonna need it and on top of that there's quite some grass blades in front of it which is gonna make it annoying for me to actually have a nice cutout so i'm just gonna chop off the bench like a little uh, higher up let's say so i'm just gonna press l on the keyboard once again make sure to hold alt or option and let's say i'm just gonna chop it off right here because i see a nice line go around double click and there we go now you can see that this um, is also a little messy so i'm gonna clean that up by just holding alt or option clicking right here go straight down and go around and then double click in order to uh, snap back to the original point same on the other side i see that we've got this little weird thingy right here so i'm gonna hold alt make sure to go nice and straight uh, along the line go around double click and you can see that i fixed this edge now let's go to the middle one and you can see we've also selected here a little bit too much so i'm gonna hold other option and make sure to actually have this very nice yeah let's say very nice selection go around double click and there we go let's go to the right side and also fix this one so i'm gonna go up a little bit to make a very nice selection go around and double click and there we go so if i press q now you can see that we've got a super crystal clear selection and if i hit the mask icon you can see that we've got a pixel perfect selection by simply using a few uh, tricks now for the last two tricks i'm gonna go to this image right here and this is a very cool image and i want to demonstrate something to you with the refine options now of course, if we would have to select all of these hairs with the uh, lasso tool or with the pen tool, this would take ages. So luckily in Affinity Photo, we've got the refine option. So I'm gonna press W on the keyboard to, make, uh, to select my selection brush tool, increase my brush size a whole lot. And I'm just gonna brush over the lion to make a very rough selection to work with, let's say. Now I can see that we missed the corner right here. And the reason why we missed it is because the hairs are pretty similar to the background color. So this makes it harder for Affinity Photo to distinguish what is subject and what is background, let's say. All right, so with my selection active to actually refine this selection, I'm gonna hit the refine button and now I'm simply gonna brush over the edges. And this is to actually have Affinity Photo, um, a closer look at the edge, let's say, and at our selection. And you will see that Affinity Photo will do a fairly good job um, at making sure that we've got every single hair selected, let's say. I can select the overlay, so I can change the overlay to either black, and you can see how crystal clear this selection is. I can go to white, and it will look a little more messy, and that is because the original background was also darker. So let's go to a black overlay. But on this side, you can see that it is quite a mess, and that is because 
what I mentioned before, the background is fairly similar to the foreground. So once we are happy with our selection, what we can do is change the output. So I'm going to set my output to mask and I'm going to hit apply. And now we've got a nice mask. Now you can see that the mask somehow is detached from my subject. So I'm just going to click and drag it over the thumbnail. And now you can see that we've got a super crystal clear uh, mask. Now, as mentioned on the right side, we have we have a super nice selection, but on the left side, it is quite a mess. And this is where my last trick comes in, trick number seven, and that is to use brushes when making selections. So inside of the mask, Affinity Photo doesn't know how to do any better job than this because it is just too similar to the background and the AI just isn't powerful enough. And this is where brushes come in handy. So I'm going to press B on the keyboard and make sure my brush, set, brush mode is set to normal. And I've got the best brushes to actually make pixel perfect fur selections and that is the I'm Renzi fur and feather brushes. And so let me just quickly show you what these brushes do. I'm going to use my fur ball right here and I'm just going to subtract from my um, uh, mask, let's say. So I'm going to brush with brush in with black and I just want to brush in the edge to the inside. And what I'm going to do now is actually swap my color to white and with white active, I want to make sure that the brush hairs, let's say, are about the size of the uh, lion. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush over the edge and look what it does. Like it just gives us this super super crystal clear and super sharp um, texture of fur let's say now you might think like okay all of these fur hairs are going straight to the outside and this isn't realistic and that is why i've also added other brushes like for instance these hairs so you can actually draw separate hairs so i can turn my brush around press command z of course increase the brush size and i can turn this brush around and actually make very very nice hairy textures let's say but also i've got this brush right here and this brush also makes it very very nice to actually get some super clean um hair hair texture let's say so i'm just gonna click a couple of times here and there right here maybe turn the brush around a little bit click once here maybe click here and click here and like this you can see how sharp and how amazing this edge actually looks of this lion now of course these brushes they are available inside of the ultimate creator bundle and this bundle is currently on a super deal so you will get 68 percent off of the full bundle and the fur and feather brushes are included in the bundle so if you're interested check out the link down below i hope you learned something new and i see you in my next video ciao, ciao.